Y'all, this man had painted my cabinets in my kitchen pink. What's up, Sincere Squad? It's your girl Shakira, and I'm back at it with another video. Hey y'all. If you're new here, please do hit that subscribe button before heading out. And don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you never miss when I upload because your girl be giving the content over here. And today, 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 I'm here to formally introduce you to Shakira GTV. Okay, unofficially, I mean, not unofficially, but I just never put a title to it. I have been giving you guys home cleaning organization style videos. And for as long as I can remember, I've always love just organizing things my home my room oh my gosh just that's just my thing and it makes me happy it brings me peace so every year usually in April I really don't have like a month for it but it's been in April for the past couple of years I do like a declutter challenge and back when we first got locked down for COVID in 2020 I invited people to come along with me because everyone will always say I love when you show like organization and stuff and how you transform spaces so I decided to make it a challenge which I absolutely love because I get to engage with other women and other moms who love the same things that I do because it brings me peace I'm not even gonna lie to you I love to just sit and clean and organize for hours on hours on hours I'll tell you guys a quick story and then we'll jump right into the video so growing up I've always had my own room number one I'm the oldest and I'm a girl and then my brother he's five years younger than me so I've always had my own room and I've always had a passion for just organizing and structure okay literally every week I want to say I would probably clean out my room like literally take every piece of furniture out of my room and place it in the hallway I would pretend like my room was my mini apartment I don't know why <laughs> But I would literally take every piece of furniture out. I would clean it down. I would declutter, get rid of things that I no longer wanted and donate them to the Goodwill or even try to sell them. Literally, y'all like, can ask my mom. Like, And then I would, once I finished cleaning and organizing and decluttering, I would bring all the furniture back in and I would change my room around. Like if I didn't want my bed here anymore, I would transform it in a different position. So I have legit been doing this for as long as I can remember. I just didn't have have a camera recording myself back then but now in today's world you know with me being a youtuber I like to bring you guys on experiences like this and I have been transforming my house into a home and you guys have seen videos on that as well and I just want to give you guys a big update video today so let's jump right into Shakira GTV episode one okay guys so i want to just start off by sharing with you guys how i got into this process okay okay so many of you who have been here a part of the sincere squad put your yellow hearts in the comments you already know that i am pregnant with baby number two baby girl and she came by surprise this year okay we found out that we were pregnant in march and this year we had also talked about buying a bigger home okay so we had planned on buying a bigger home august ish but with a new baby coming and everything we kind of put a pause on buying a bigger home and for that reason is because we just had so many other things going on and then I did not want to even stress myself out in the process of being pregnant and then going into labor in October with trying to buy a new house and closing and all that because I've been through this process once before and I know how it works and your closing dates can change and I know the type of person I am and I wanted to make sure my house is prepared for when baby girl is ready to come okay so with buying a new house in August we would have had like literally two months to get the house together 
that's kind of crazy, kind of impossible, you know, being that if we close, let's say August, but they could have pushed back, anything could have happened. So I just was like, listen, babe, let's put this off. He also agreed, like, let's just put this off until next year okay this house is definitely caving in on us and we're definitely still going to purchase a bigger home but for right now it fits our needs and it wasn't necessarily a need for us to move it was more of a want at the time but we do have a room for baby girl so it ain't like she ain't got no room you know other things that we had in place just had to maneuver a little bit so nonetheless of course since we weren't going to be buying that new dream home that i wanted i had to go ahead and switch gears and figure out what i'm going to do next and y'all know your girl it takes no time for me once i come up with a plan in my head i'm getting to work okay <laughs> so i literally mapped out each room of the house and i already had like my pinterest boards and stuff of how i wanted my new home to look and i just wanted my home to feel refreshed and new and airy and bright because all of that makes me really happy and it brings me peace and i feel like just a brighter home just brings in a different type of energy okay my house currently it doesn't bring in a lot of natural light as much as i would like but it does bring in some so I was like let me just make a layout of all the rooms and what I want to do to each and then I can figure out where to go from there so that's exactly what I did y'all know me in my notes my spreadsheet that's just what your girl do so anyways the very first project that I got started with was the kids bathroom and you guys know from a previous vlog where I mentioned that I wanted to get their bathroom together they do have the Jack and Jill style bathroom so both of their rooms are connected if you don't know what Jack and Jill is all right you guys so I'm here in my kids bathroom it is the Jack and Jill style so this door here goes to baby girl's room and then this door here goes to sincere's room and i knew that i wanted to get that bathroom gender neutral and it was kind of just like there like uh like it didn't really have a purpose it wasn't really functional it was just kind of there okay so i decided on the colors well it was it kind of came to me because I did ask you guys like what do y'all think you know the style I should make the bathroom the colors or should I do like their two colors and put them together so I actually decided on doing that I took Sincere's colors from his room or it's a little bit different but you get the point it's basically like a pink and a blue but the lighter tones so what I did is all of our cabinets in our home were dark brown the chocolate color which was beautiful when I first bought the home which was four and a half years ago but I really was you know hoping for my new modern style home this year and since I couldn't get that I'm like okay we gotta switch some things up in here because I'm not feeling the dark chocolate cabinets anymore it's just not working for me it's just giving me really dark and gloomy and I need bright and airy so the very first thing that I decided was I gotta get rid of these cabinets I got to paint them like this is not gonna work for me you know your girl took it upon herself so currently i'm about to clean up this is what it's looking like sincere in the way per usual i brought like all his toys that were on the floor in the playroom in here and i just need to clean up clean the tub clean the sink and i'm going to be painting these cabinets so this dark brown has got to go it's all over my house which i'm going to be painting it little by little but yeah that's going to go and i'm going to be organizing under the sink as well so it's going to be a whole transformation i just wanted to show y'all the before so let's get into it i took it upon myself and i headed to your local lowe's okay i went to lowe's i already knew the type of paint that i wanted because if you have watched the video of sincere's nursery reveal and i'll pop it here then you know that we painted his room before he came so i knew that i wasn't gonna be painting her nursery this time because even though i did it and i was like eight months pregnant it was a lot and 
I just didn't want to do that. So nonetheless, I wanted the same paint that my mom had purchased for his room, but in a different color. So for the cabinets, I decided on gray because gray is a very neutral color and it matches, you know, and it doesn't, I didn't want to necessarily do white in the kids bathroom. So I went with gray. So I had to those and I picked up that gray paint and it already had the primer and the paint and stop in to mix together with the brand that I bought and I came home I prepped everything I took the hardware out of the bathrooms I sanded it down a little bit and it didn't need to be sanded much because the cabinets are not super old like I said I bought my house new construction four and a half years ago so I used liquid sandpaper I went ahead and scrubbed those bad boys down and you know got that as good as possible taped around the edges like I said I took the hardware off and got to painting you know I went ahead and painted the cabinet and it's gray so that was like a two-day process within itself because with the cabinet doors I had to like let one side dry for two hours and then you know do a second coat and then the next day I did like the other side of it same process paint wait two hours let it dry and all that and I went ahead and painted the whole base again that was a two-day process within itself and y'all your girl was feeling motivated I'm like oh look at me I can paint obviously I already knew I could paint but I never painted no cabinets in no bathroom before so I was really feeling myself okay guys so this is the oh no it's still giant but I had to show y'all because I just feel so proud of myself so, like I did that it's super wet so of course I'm gonna show y'all again when it's not but look how bright and airy it's already starting to look I'm in love with it only thing I have to do is the back side of those which I think I'm gonna do tomorrow to let it just dry completely this paint is drying like pretty fast so I'm super happy about that but yes yeah. what's up guys it is day two of painting and I'm here in the bathroom and I want to show y'all the update because it looks so good. But before I show y'all the update, today we are going to be painting the back side of the cabinet doors and then putting them back on the hinges. Y'all, it looks so good. It's already starting to feel bigger in here and fresher and everything. So let me show y'all what it looks like. So y'all, look at this cabinet. I did that. Okay. <laughs> Professional. Okay. Y'all see it. Yes, I did it. I did that. So that is the cabinet. Here are the doors. They're looking really good. Oh my gosh. So like I said, today we just have to do the back side, which y'all see it used to be this color. Ooh, this color. Ah, it's so good. Okay, so let's get started because I'm excited. So I'm like, hmm, I like this color. I'm going to do our bathroom too. So y'all, this wasn't on my list originally. I knew I wanted to like spruce up our bathroom and make it more luxurious and like hotel feeling. But I didn't even think that I was going to be paying the cabinets too. So I decided to do that same gray in our bathroom. So then I kind of transitioned from the kids bathroom to our bathroom on like the third day. And I started painting our cabinets which that project wasn't bad at all because it's smaller than like painting a room or whatever so that was good I knocked that out anyways once I got the cabinets done I was already feeling like whoa this is making a huge difference and I'm loving it so then rewind I went shopping y'all y'all know your girl loves shopping Amazon is my go-to okay so of course your girl shopped Amazon but the day that I decided to like start shopping for home stuff I was supposed to like shop for room by room instead of like trying to get everything at once but that kind of went out the window once I got to the stores and I started seeing different pieces for different rooms and I'm like okay 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 your girl know what she want to do so I went to of course TJ Maxx Home Goods, uh, Ross, Marshalls, Burlington, Big Lots and even Walmart I don't think I went to Target I didn't go to Target because Target will try to y'all know sprinkle that little stuff on you get you buying everything but anyways i went to all those stores and i purchased a bunch of stuff for like each individual room so 
I had gotten the colors and the design that I wanted to do for the kids bathroom so like I said I went with the light blue and the light pink and then it's like birds it's a birdie theme which was super cute the shower curtains are birds and then the soap dispenser is a bird once I had it painted now I'm like yes once it dry I can decorate y'all I love to decorate I love to just oh I just love stuff like that so I started decorating everything and placing the pieces where they go and I was just becoming so satisfied I was happy with my choices I was happy with the color scheme that I decided on and the way I did the shower is two different shower curtains it's like front facing and back facing so I have a plastic one on the inside with like hard lighter pink color birdies and then on the outside I have a cloth shower curtain with the blue birdies for sincere's colors so it just really just like meshed together and it was just so perfect so a lot of the stuff i am going to try to link in the description box below but some of it i was not able to find um but i did get the shower curtains at big lots and the towels so of course i had to roll the towels up super cute and i bought these baskets and i placed them in there and then i placed the tissues in one of the baskets and then from amazon i ordered the canvas signs for you know brush your teeth wash your hands and all that good stuff but those did not come with frames so I had to order frames from Walmart and I just did like the Walmart pickup with that and that was super convenient it was really simple to kind of get together and I didn't spend a lot of money because it's a kids bathroom and I wanted it to still feel kid friendly but also I wanted it to look you know very chic and kind of modernish if that makes sense <laughs> So that was the very first project that I worked on. Like I said, simultaneously, I worked on our bathroom as well because I had to paint in there. After I painted both of our bathroom cabinets, your girl was feeling pumped. I'm like, I got this. I'm about to paint up everything I want to paint up in here. But I knew I didn't want to paint baby girl's room. Me and babe had already discussed like hiring someone to do that. So y'all, I'm in the kitchen now. I'm like, we gotta get rid of these dark chocolate cabinets in the kitchen too. I might as well paint these since I did the bathroom. So y'all, babe took all the hardware and the cabinets off for me. And I started trying to paint up in that kitchen. No sis, it wasn't it. I was not getting it. I was like tired. I said, oh no, this ain't gonna work. We might have to hire somebody. And I had already started. So it was like quick like okay we got to figure this out like we got to find somebody asap so my husband was able to find someone to come out and paint our kitchen cabinets and we was like we might as well go ahead and do her room since you know we're already gonna have them out here it don't make sense of doing two trips so y'all this one little project that i was supposed to be doing room by room turned into me doing the whole house so now my whole house is like under construction okay literally it's like a whole paint zone here i got stuff everywhere that i took out of places it's just a complete mess but it gives me something inside of me that's like pumped like oh my vision is about to come to life like i can't wait to finish so it motivates me to get to work each day so i literally was working on this for like two weeks straight even though i worked on it for two weeks straight your girl body was sore okay i was tired tired but i was determined to get it finished and y'all know people I like to call it nesting when the mom is like preparing for baby to come but if you ask me I feel like I've been nesting my whole life or this is just the type of person that I am I don't like chaos I like structure I like to be organized so call it what you want but anyway so my house is like a hot mess and I'm like okay next room we hired the guy to do the painting I can be focusing on the next project so I ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon for my bedroom because I'm like okay I need my bedroom to be my second sanctuary i definitely wanted to do a refresher in here anyway because y'all it just was not giving like it was still giving that i was like a bachelorette 
it was still a given that I was like still single and you know still kind of in my early 20s real girly-ish but I'm a my grown woman I'm an adult now <laughs> I'm just kidding y'all but seriously it was just not giving i wanted a more hotel luxurious bright and airy feel in my bedroom okay i wanted it to feel comfortable for myself and my husband like the colors was just giving me like kitty vibes if i'm being quite frank so this is what the before is of my master bedroom i'm getting ready to remodel it because it actually were the two colors that are in my kids gender neutral bathroom and i'm like this is not working so anyways y'all i went on amazon and i went to town i ordered new comforter sets i ordered new curtains new rugs everything because i had already picked up pillows and stuff from tj uh, max home goods and uh burlington and i was just like we gotta we gotta get rid of the stuff i wanted it to be white black and silver because my furniture is already silver and i wanted everything to kind of mesh together but i didn't want color i wanted it to be just clean and simple and like i said a hotel luxurious vibe so i went to town ordered all the stuff for our bedroom mind you so far we have sincere's room that was already complete i just needed to like move stuff into his room from like the playroom man cave and his room was complete then we had a gender neutral kids bathroom complete then we have the painters getting baby girls nursery together and the kitchen cabinets together and now i'm working on our bedroom so i immediately started removing all the blue and pink stuff out of here because it was just so cringy and just not giving so first things first i need to go ahead and clear off this whole dresser and probably take the stuff from the inside to make it lighter to be able to move because we're going to be moving this dresser over here and moving this tv stand over there i'm not sure if i want to keep this tv stand or not i've had it for uh, several years now in mount the TV. I'm not sure yet, but for right now, we're just going to swap these two out. So then Babe actually kind of helped me. I was able to get the curtains up and I also moved the curtain rod higher. I bought these two matching mirrors from Big Lies, which I love so much and they were only $30 a piece. Like couldn't beat that. And it already matched my full body mirror, which is you know super dope and then i had ordered these two plants which one plant is right here behind me and then i wanted one for baby girl's room because her nursery is this light blush pink color it's called romantic actually is the color name and the pink green just go if you know you know okay so i got our bedroom together rolled the new rug out y'all removed the old rug and then i'm like okay this is feeling so good i'm so happy with the progress i had babe move the dresser from one area to another i had him move the tv stand because obviously i can't move the big furniture stuff so i was kind of you know directing him what to do and he was looking oh oh so good doing it y'all know my love language is acting services and words of affirmation so anytime my husband is like doing a service for me <laughs> not just kidding y'all but he was helping me so much and i greatly appreciate all of his help because without him i would not have been able to do some of the stuff that i was doing nonetheless y'all can see our bedroom looks like a complete transformation and it's so beautiful just everything it just looks elegant luxurious it looks like grown man and woman husband and wife vibes you feel me so then i'm like okay well now our bedroom is together we gotta do our bathroom now that i've painted these cabinets you know what i'm saying and i also wanted to keep the black and white and a silver gray whatever going so i went on amazon ordered me some bath mats and pictures for the bathroom so the bathroom didn't really require much those things were super cheap those canvases did not come with the frames either so I also got those from Walmart there are a couple more little things that I do want to add to our bathroom like there's this bath sign that I want to go like over the door and then there's like this black plunger and toilet 
a bowl cleaner that I want but it's like little minor stuff that is really a want not a need and I gotta like budget this stuff out because I already went crazy with everything else so for the most part our bathroom is pretty good it was red in there so I took all that red stuff out y'all it didn't even match like our bedroom was pink and blue then our bathroom was red black and white it was just not going and I wanted everything to kind of flow together and I just love the way it looks now it just looks very clean bright and airy the look that I was going for Okay, so now that our bedroom and bathroom are both together, I'm like, okay, I'm still amped up. And I already knew from my list that I had created that I wanted to move the rug from our room into the living room because the colors in the living room were dark chocolate brown, orange, and turquoise. Like I said, nothing was matching, like nothing was flowing. And it was just kind of irritating me because it has been like that for so long. And downstairs was also very dark as well because we had like orange curtains up and I was like, ugh, we gotta get rid of this orange. I'm just not feeling it, okay? It's just not giving. So I removed all the orange curtains, had babe bring that rug downstairs. He cleaned that rug for me. Y'all, such a big help. So now I'm like, okay, once I took those curtains out, it was looking very bright and airy, the feel that I was going for because we do have hardwood flooring and they are dark chocolate hardwood as well. And then we have dark chocolate furniture. So everything was just like so, so dark. But it was two things I knew that I wasn't changing. Like I wasn't about to buy new living room furniture because that's just not a priority right now. And I wasn't about to change all the hardwood flooring downstairs. So changing the cabinet colors was the main priority. This painting job that we hired the guy for was expected to take two days. He ended up taking did he take three days or four days I think he ended up taking three days and let's get into that real quick before I go into the details of the living room so we bought the paint from Home Depot of what colors we wanted him to paint which was white for the cabinet and the romance color for baby girl's room we told him like where we wanted the paints to go as well but I had both of the paints in the kitchen on the island because when we came in the house that's just where we put it all so y'all tell me why this man mind you I had already started painting white so as you can see it was white in there and then like my husband already had the hardware and stuff off he had to do none of the hard stuff for real all he had to do was tape up more professionally because we didn't really tape up super professional he literally had it looking like he was about to paint the whole house in here but tape up and get to painting so he like prepped and everything the first day and started painting a little bit and he was doing the white so I'm like okay everything's starting to look good he's doing the first coat I know I gotta dry and then he'll get to the second coat he like took all the cabinet doors outside and like sprayed those he had a whole machine okay he went hand painting that was that so that first day was complete so then the second day you know he comes to put on the second coat or the white and everything and I'm thinking okay the second day he gonna be finishing up because we only hired him for two days and that's what we agreed to and then you know he's gonna go to baby girl's room spray her room real quick with the color that we chose the pink and we'll be finished so y'all the second day I think I had an appointment or I went to run some errands or something so but when I left the house the cabinets were white when I came home the cabinets were pink y'all this man had painted my cabinets in my kitchen pink I was freaking out I was like babe I'm like shaking like what in the world why would he paint a kitchen pink like who told him to do that like you had it already white why did you go over it in pink I didn't understand the logic I was freaking out I'm like oh my gosh this is a disaster and now this is going to take longer than I expected and I can't really do the work that I need to do in the kitchen so nonetheless baby was like it's okay like calm down he's gonna fix it he said he's gonna come back tomorrow so I'm like now we gotta extend another day which we're not paying for that because it was his fault he said he messed up you know what I mean so he ended up having to come back a third day he fixed the cabinets in the kitchen and y'all we do not have a pink kitchen because that is unacceptable the cabinets are white and he ended up doing baby girl's room the pink that it's supposed to be and it looks beautiful all right you guys yeah. here is baby girl's room we'll see if we can get this pink good on camera 
It looks so beautiful in here, y'all. It is completely done. Paint looks amazing. He did that. Yeah, it's better from this way. Y'all can actually see the color. He did an amazing job. I'm so thankful because, baby, me trying to hand paint them cabinets wasn't working. Obviously, the kitchen has way more cabinets than the bathrooms do. And I don't know what I was thinking. I was superwoman in my head. But once I got to doing it, I was like, oh, this not working. So I'm super grateful. I'm super thankful that my husband was able to find him. We were able to pay him to contract those two rooms and get it done. So y'all, as you can see, baby girl's room is so beautiful and pink. And that's all you're going to see for right now. Because I'm going to be doing a whole separate video on the nursery reveal, of course. So you guys make sure, pause right now if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel please. And hit that notification bell so you never miss when I upload and when I post that nursery reveal. Because it's going to be cute. I already have my mood boards created. I already have the things on the registry whatever is not purchased i'm gonna purchase my husband's gonna purchase we're gonna purchase together and we're gonna get her room together so i'm excited about that and y'all so now after the third day everything was finished as far as paint so now i'm like okay now i can get back to working getting in my groove y'all the living room and kitchen are very open it's an open space so i wanted those colors to flow as well and just everything to flow the only thing that needs color in my opinion for my home was my kids room the boy in the girl room like I did not want to see color in our bedroom our bathroom the kitchen and in the living room we did do the accent color that turquoise blue color but other than that I did not want to see any color so the kitchen is black white and gray with the chocolate hardwood floors obviously so I had to change the whole backsplash I changed that out by myself because I did install it by myself with the brown but ugh, yucky I had to take that off the wall and I installed saw the new pill and stick it's simply pill and stick y'all you can buy this at Lowe's Home Depot or Amazon like I did and I'll link the ones that I purchased down in the description box below but I ended up being short so originally I purchased one because I don't know what I was thinking I think I was gonna probably use it for our bathroom but as y'all saw on my channel like last year I have purchased pill and stick from Dollar Tree and that was black and white in our bathroom I'm like there's no sense of changing this it already matches it flows so I can use this pillow stick on the kitchen because originally the kitchen wasn't a part of the plan I remember I said I just wanted to start painting and I was acting so then I was like okay now that I started painting I got to change the backsplash so anyways I ended up using that one pack for the kitchen but I'm like one pack's not gonna be enough I thought two would be but actually I needed three I'm so surprised that I didn't remember this from the first time because the first time I literally had to go back to the store a couple of times because I didn't buy enough and your girl didn't measure anything I kind of eyeballed it okay guys so this is what I have so far coming along coming along I just have this whole wall to do now but look what just got here my package that I was actually waiting on because I had to order some more stuff for the kitchen so this is the kitchen sign that I was talking about earlier it's gonna go right there and then I had to order more of these because I ran out and I think I'm gonna have to order one more y'all what the heck but nonetheless three packs did the job and it looks so beautiful as you can see and it just opened up my kitchen space so much and y'all know I had changed out all my lighting in my house like last year and put the natural light in here so everything's so bright so airy it brings happy vibes to my home it's Pinterest ready honey you know your girl can get all her constant pics in my house I don't have to go renting out a studio renting out an Airbnb for someone else's aesthetics like my aesthetics are there we're getting there we're growing you feel me so yes y'all and then some other minor things that I did in the kitchen the hardware I ordered black hardware from Amazon installed that myself on the kitchen cabinet doors and drawers and then I also ordered the paper towel holder in black so all the hardware is black to flow okay my cabinet hardware oh, so excited let me see if I can show y'all what it looks like. Oh, and this one came earlier. This is for the paper towel holder. So I have to install that. But this is the cabinet hardware. 
they are black you can see so there's the screws from the last one I had in but boom oh my gosh it's gonna look so good so I'm gonna do that I might have to do this one tomorrow now in the living room the living room like i said i didn't do much i just took down all the curtains so right now we have no curtains up i'm still trying to decide if i want to do like white curtains in there but for right now it's just nothing and i kind of like it that way because it's not like we don't have no blinds or nothing like we have really expensive durable you know the thick two inch blinds so that's fine for now i did leave the hooks up there in case i do want to put the curtain so i don't have to like double work myself and like reinstall it so we'll just side on that a little bit later but like I said that's the only room that has a hint of color which is that turquoise because I brought that rug down there and eventually I do want to get a new rug for the living room but I also wanted to use what I had like I didn't want to like completely get rid of that rug because it is a good rug and it's super large that I had in my bedroom and I paid a lot of money for it so I didn't want to completely like just toss it or donate it or whatever so I decided to use it in the living room but I had these cute little decor pieces on the fireplace mantle and those used to be orange and white but I spray painted them to be matte black which flowed and matched so perfectly and it looks good on the mantle and I also cleared off the mantle like I didn't want much of anything I wanted everything to be like clutter free hence why I like to declutter because I don't like all that clutter stuff I don't like to see a whole bunch of stuff out like my mind just really can't focus like if I see too much I'm like thinking of things that I can do so that's that the dining room didn't really do much in there I kept the same rug I've always had which is a dark chocolate and turquoise rug because it kind of still flowed with the living room there was one curtain in there we took that down so that was pretty much it y'all like so far so good like everything Everything looks super nice everything flows and it's bright it's airy I accomplished the goal that I was going for and I love it it makes me happy I've been creating more content in my home I've been happy to do it I've been excited to do it the pictures are turning out good I look good you feel me so I'm excited this is not the end I just wanted to come to you guys today and introduce to you guys Shakira GTV because your girl be getting to work and y'all know I love to organize something so the pantry still is like super organized if you haven't seen that video make sure you check that out in the home cleaning organization playlist as well because I do have something on that but I am going to continue to give you guys updates as I continue to add pieces or remove pieces from my home and our space and like I said the nursery reveal will be coming soon I'll probably release that at maybe the beginning of next month so at the beginning of October I'll probably release the nursery reveal because baby girl is due October 29th so of course I'm gonna have it already ready a couple of weeks in advance so I'm super excited I thank you guys so much for sticking through this video I hope that you found some inspiration in my home or some of the things that I tweaked and removed or put together and if you have any questions feel free to ask me like I said in the description box below I will try to link as many things that I can but again I did go to some local stores like TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Burleson, and Big Lots so be sure to check there if none of the links serve you well. As always make sure you walk by faith and slay plus pray each and every day because God he will make way. I love you guys so much and thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring. Okay and we are on the road. We are growing and we are glowing. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.